Hey all of my brujas and brujos and witches and warlocks and conjure workers, root workers, mediums, all of those people that live one step in the physical and one step in the spiritual. This is your weekly guidance reading for the week of 1223 through 1229. And from my Santa Morte Oracle deck, which is also the deck I might be doing ancestral advice from, but I haven't made any decisions. We have from the world of emanations, chaos. So this is the third card in the deck. It is followed by darkness and then the divine masculine and then chaos. So if you really know anything about the universe, it started with a bit of chaos, the big bang, was this huge, huge, oh, uh, uh, tongue tied today. This huge explosion, and the universe went into chaos as it tried to settle itself. But here, chaos isn't always a negative thing. Like the creator of this deck said, to look at this like the artist's palette right before they create a masterpiece their palette might look like a chaos of colors. So what does that mean for this week? Well, we have a lot of energy going on as witches and spiritual workers and things like that going on. We have the winter solstice. We had a very, very heavy full moon in Cancer. And we have the Christmas holiday. We have the new year coming up. Things might seem to be a bit chaotic. Chaotic emotionally, chaotic physically, chaotic mentally. But the advice here is to take what is chaotic and organize it. Live in a state of what I say in my life, I live in a state of organized chaos. So when things feel like they are all over the place, when your colors are all over the palette, when your candles are all over the place, your herbs are all over the place, everything seems to be chaotic. Mama want this over here, babies want that over there. You gotta give to your clients, we gotta give to the lovers, we gotta give to the pets. We tend to forget about ourselves and that energy drives us into a state of chaos. But instead of letting this energy, this chaotic energy run all over the place, let's take these beautiful colors and create a masterpiece. Let's take the pieces of our chaotic energy and put that into our spiritual work, put that into our spiritual energy so that we can be a little bit more organized in this state of chaos. The advice from the dead on this is to analyze what is going on and right now is not a time to stop and get stagnant right now is a time for action when things are chaotic we as root workers as spiritual workers as people who have one step in the physical and one step in the spiritual needs to come down center ourselves and figure out what is the plan of action if it's a chaotic love life what is the plan of action we're always lighting candles for everyone else we're always bringing love to everyone else how are you going to get yourself out of your chaotic state now is the time for action the same thing in our financial life, our, our work life, our spiritual businesses. If things seem a bit chaotic this week, instead of tucking your tail and hiding, let's take a healing spiritual bath, a white bath, cleanse our energy, regroup, and organize the chaos, my loves. Organize the chaos. See you next week.